Well, the Utah Utes have clinched the Pac-12 South. Congratulations. They're on their way to the Pac-12 championship game in Santa Clara. Congratulations. But you don't get a bye week prior to that. You got to play your rival in BYU. And oh, by the way, Kalani Sataki, the former defensive coordinator under Kyle Whittingham, he's the head coach of BYU. So yeah, this one you'll want to tune in. This is going to be at 7 Pacific on FS1. And can't wait to watch how this one plays out. Most importantly, can both of these teams be championship worthy in this environment? Is it going to be an ugly game? A lot of penalties? I hope not. It makes you sick when you see games like that in rivalry games. And I don't think we see that because both of these coaches clearly come from the same cloth. So for the Utah Utes, Jason Shelley, the stage just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Armand Shine, same thing for this offense. And I think they don't change one iota. I don't think they save anything. You try to win the game, you got to get razor sharp because there's a Rose Bowl on the line for the Utah Utes in two weeks. So I think it's zone read, run pass option, quick game and a healthy dose of Armand Shine. The challenge on the flip side, and Pac-12, we, we know BYU, right? They've played a couple teams early in the season, and they've shifted from Tanner Mangum at quarterback, and now there's a new quarterback in Zach Wilson. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he does against this vaunted Utah defense led by Chase Hansen and Cody Barton. Oh, by the way, their final time playing in Rice-Eccles Stadium. I think they're going to be a little bit excited. So all in all, got a championship environment, a lot at stake in the rivalry, and Utah, you got to get right because you got the title game coming up. And for all of you that want to go to the title game. You can. You go to pack-12.com slash tickets. Get your tickets. Come hang out with me and the fellas. We'll be there all Friday night long in two weeks.